Good morning, everybody. This is Connor from Futures Analytica, bringing you guys another live futures trading session. We are trading ES today. We're going to be trading the last hour of the day. We're going to be starting out the day here by arming it in both directions. We're going to be inside of trend mode at this point, but we're looking to switch to regression pretty quickly. You can see here we had some chop around here at 1213, 1212 area, but we kind of have moved out of that. If we move back into it and get more bouncing off that zone, we are going to switch back into regression. Just got filled into a long position here. See if we can end up winning this one. There is unfortunately some resistance there, but looks like we blew through it. But consecutively, right after we won that trade, we got filled into a short position, um, likely because of this zone up here. It's good that our take profit was only one above that zone there because um, we're able to take that win. If it was just one tick above that though, we probably would have gotten stuffed out. There you go. There's our first loss of the day, bringing us down to $116. But we just got filled into a long position, closing out that derived zone. We end up winning that one pretty quickly, bringing us back up to 524. We're making some progress here. You can see we're blowing through all of these derived zones here. It's good that we're in trend mode. Delta is maintaining its strength, but we did just get filled into a short position. And we end up winning that one. We're up to almost $1,000 on the day now. Just got filled into a long position here. Let's see if we can end up winning it. Also, guys, regarding Sierra Link VPSs, uh, we did start sending out those credentials starting on the 10th there. Um, we had a little bit of issues um, getting into the server cabinet over the weekend. And uh, we had to, we can't get all everyone's login out on the 10th. So uh, we've been continuously rolling those out though. So um, Stay posted on your inbox. You'll get those credentials to log into the VPS as soon as yours is ready. Sorry, guys, for the wait. Um, we do have some, some people do have theirs already, but um, and that means that yours is coming up real soon. Of course, billing will not start until you actually are able to log in and uh, get started, so uh, don't worry about that. Unfortunately, there's our, I think, second loss of the day, bringing us back down to $1,000. We are going to switch it into regression mode at this point. We are having a significant amount of chop around this area and some uncorrelated delta in price. 
You also have these derived zones sticking us um, with a bit of chop. Sorry guys, if there's some echo, I'm getting some feedback that uh, my voice is a bit echoey, but I'm kind of surprised because I'm using a face mounted mic, but we ended up losing that trade as well. We're bound back down to 757 on the day. Hey guys, new release is going to be released on a case-by-case uh, -case basis. We're not exactly certain whether or not we want to release it without prepackaged models. So um, we are waiting to get um, some nice training with the new, um, the new update. The update's been ready for about a week now, but I've really been trying to um, train multiple models both across NQ and ES. So um, it, it does become complex to release updates for instruments that... Um, I don't necessarily trade on a day-to-day -day basis. It was easy to do the ES dual model, but um, many of you guys trade NQ. So if if we release this new software, um, a lot of people who've been using the old prepackaged NQ model will be left uh, hanging dry. So we got to wait to do that as every time we update the software, unfortunately, the models don't have um, continuity. Eventually they will, but as this, they have only been beta updates, there have been massive changes throughout the past um, a uh, few months on that. So that's why uh, model continuity doesn't exist across updates yet, but we're working on it. Just got filled there. Uh, we ended up winning that trade. It was a long trade, a regression long. You can see here we are having a significant amount of resistance at this zone. The zone is automatically marked by the analytic chart for a plus. Let's scroll back and see what created it. Okay, that's pretty far back, but. Hey, Aramir, regarding Sierra Link, uh, I did talk about earlier in the stream how we have begun to send out credentials. These are, be done, these are being done manually as um, our API is not wanting to connect with our email system. So I've been creating these VPSs manually and sending them out. This is only going to be um, an issue once for now. So um, we've been working hard at getting that done, working around the clock here. But fortunately, we should be able to get those out um, by... I'd say end of tomorrow, everyone will have theirs. So um, apologize, guys, but we have been continuously sending them out since the 10th. I'm getting some consecutive fills here. Um, hopefully this one, yeah, there we go. Ended up winning that trade as well. We're up to $2,800 on the day now. Just got filled again into a short position. Um, also, guys, to let you know, I am using a considerable amount of leverage uh, here to get these PNL numbers. Um, $3,200 on I don't know how many trades here. I mean, I think less than less than 10. Um, it's quite a bit of leverage. So um, just be aware that this is not indicative of, of numbers that you're going to see, especially on a smaller account. Getting some solid wins here. We just got filled into a long position there in regression. I'm not totally certain we're going to win this trade, but we end up doing it anyway, because I guess the formation of this derived zone here, but we're switching into trend mode at this point, because we want to take advantage of uh, whatever volatility is being made at this point here. We just got filled into a short position. And we end up winning that one as well. Wow, we're getting some serious back-to-back -back fills here. Some real volatility in this power hour. ES is almost never like this. This is behaving very similar to NQ, but without any of the whipsaws that we see, which I am a fan of. This is the kind of volatility that I absolutely thrive off of. But I'm sure my retirement account is not doing too well with this, uh, <laughs> this downturn here. But that's okay. We're offsetting it with our uh, gains from today. Just got filled into a long position here.
We ended up losing that trade, I believe, but I don't even think that the, we didn't get to finish the full sound bite there. Some serious volatility here. This is extremely rare for ES. There we go. Ended up winning that one as well, up to $5,700 on the day. Wow, we're seriously getting some solid trades here. A lot of LTD. We're way above our profit target. Usually our profit target has 5,000, but I've been pushing the envelope a little bit. Uh, we'll, we'll keep trading as long as this volatility continues. Just got filled into a short trade. Wow, tons of volatility today. I don't really have any commentary to give. This is pretty obvious trend mode, but uh, we ended up losing that trade there. And then we immediately get put into a short position. This is some seriously insane volatility. Wow, up to $7,500 on the day. I think this might be one of my best trading days yet, just in terms of consistent entries. We're making... This is ridiculous. Up to eight on the day now. Hey, SBH, to answer your question, um, I am trading diagonal imbalances, but I am not trading single. She got filled. This time it's a long position here. Maybe this is the end of the bottom. Unfortunately, we ended up losing that trade. And we end up winning this one. I think this is going to be our last trade of the day here, guys. Yeah, I think that we're probably going to call it. This is absolute insanity. I'm happy with what we got today. Up to $8,400 on the day. We, we no longer really have any derived zones to trade off of. Um, and we're starting to get some chop around here. But, wow, that was absolutely ridiculous. I can't believe that just happened. Whew. Well, guys, thank you so much for uh, tuning in today. Uh, if you guys are, are uh, subscribers to Sierra Link, uh, we will be rolling out those login credentials um, as late as tomorrow. We began rolling them out on Monday, but as we're doing this manually for the first time, it's taking a little bit longer to get everyone's out and making sure everyone has a smooth setup experience. We are going to be posting videos and tutorials, of course, how to connect. It's very simple. Um, it's just going to be through remote desktop protocol. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you so much. And uh, see you again next week.